One year after Hurricane Maria wreaked havoc on Puerto Rico and its people, we're finding out that the death toll is much worse than first believed. As CBS's David Begno reports, plenty of work remains to be done to make the Commonwealth and its citizens whole again. It is official. Hurricane Maria caused an estimated 2,975 deaths in Puerto Rico after the storm slammed into the island last September. Researchers at George Washington University estimate nearly 3,000 people died during the six months after the hurricane hit. The government said the death toll initially was only 64. The action or the focus shouldn't be, uh, you know, hey, let's blame all these folks. The focus should be who's going to be accountable and Who's going to take the action so that this doesn't happen again? The mayor of San Juan, Carmen Yulín Cruz, governor, should take responsibility. Now, when I saw people dying, I opted to shout it. I opted to ask for help. When others saw people dying, they opted to shut up. The report lays blame on the government, saying there was inadequate preparedness and personnel for the crisis. Days after the storm, President Trump visited the island and downplayed the impact of Maria. If you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina, and you look at the tremendous hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that died, you can be very proud of all of your people, all of our people working together. In a statement, the White House said the president remains proud of the work the federal family undertook to help our fellow citizens in Puerto Rico. My mom was part, part of the death toll. Among the dead was Nicole Cordero's mother, Wanda, who died two days after the storm made landfall in a hospital that had lost power. I wish the hospitals were more prepared for this, the government overall, you know. People died in the streets when the hurricane was happening. Immediately after the storm, the governor's director of public safety, Hector Pescata, kept telling us that he was relying on doctors to certify the deaths as being storm related. But now we know from the George Washington report, many of the doctors admitted they didn't even have the proper training or understanding of the natural disaster certification process when it comes to dying. Some doctors even admitted they were worried about being sued. David Begno, CBS News, San Juan. Pittsburgh's Brothers Brother Foundation, as it has done since Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico, continues to provide vital supplies to those who still need so much help. This past week, Brothers Brother loaded a new container of medical supplies and other life-saving equipment to be shipped to Puerto Rico. Its president, Luke Hinkson, and Ron Alvarado, president of the Novus Group and former chairman of the Pittsburgh Metropolitan Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, recently returned from Puerto Rico. They're back with us on the Sunday Business page. Gentlemen, welcome back. Thank you for the good work you're both doing in that Commonwealth, another very important part of the United States that we sometimes take for granted much too often. Um, Luke, let me ask you, you're just back. Uh, how bad is it still? It's, they're recovering. Uh, the psychology of the people are better. Uh, things are improving, but a lot more needs to be done. Uh, truly, Puerto Rico is a poorer part of the United States. It's much poorer than, say, Mississippi. That was before the hurricane. It, right. it really uh, not uh, better now. Uh, so we are working with people in their hospitals, help renovate hospitals. Uh, this week we sent operating tables, delivery tables, to one of the hospitals, mm. a town called Aguadilla, right. other medical supplies. We're working w uh, with them to help repair some schools with local community groups. Uh, a, a lot needs to be done. Uh, are you, are you uh, still in, in need of support from folks in Pittsburgh? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, absolutely. It is an island of <clears throat> of three million people and on that island when the hurricane came through the day after it didn't matter which direction you looked in you could see destruction right ryan you just came back the other day you you most even more recent than luke right uh, from your perspective is the government doing what ought to be done whether it's the commonwealth's government or the federal government um let me just say that uh i i have to remain focused on the positive things that we're doing and have done uh, and you thanked us, but it goes back to the people of Pittsburgh who started this effort by donating 400,000 pounds to the pirates. Right. The pirates then took it in. We met a gentleman by the name of Raul Rodriguez, who's been a blessing, who owns two log a logistics company and a pharmaceutical distribution company. So we had that piece set up. Right. Um, uh, and so 
uh, we've done a we've done a wonderful thing. And I, what I'm going to say, and this is my spin on this, is whatever number the government of Puerto Rico or the U.S. government comes out with, I'm bl I feel good to know that between our efforts, people like Rosana Guernica, the CMU student, right. she saved my mother's life. The first the pirates did by getting her a generator, and then we evacuated my mother. She passed away, unfortunately, on the April 25th, under her terms. I'm sorry she would have, but she would. She's resting in peace. She would have been one of those statistics, if not for our efforts. Right. So I guess my point is that all the good work that your organizations do and the people of Pittsburgh do, really, it's not a total substitute for federal support for government aid. And I noticed that the government, <clears throat> the governor of, of the Commonwealth, has proposed a huge, multi-billion-dollar recovery plan and it's not going to go anywhere in the Congress. Well, uh, I think we have, a, what we need to understand is that, so Puerto Rico became a territory right before World War I. Right. And they, they, so some of the logic around it, some of the rationale, maybe that was a strategic plan because we needed uh, more servicemen. Right. And Puerto Ricans have been serving this country honorably since then. We're American citizens. Well, that's the thing that gets me. I mean, this is as much a part of America as any other state or territory. Correct. And ought to be treated that way. We have less than a minute left. What would you like to see, coming back to relief efforts, what would you like to see from folks here in Pittsburgh, Luke, that uh, would be helpful to your efforts down in... Well, first to accept our thanks for those who have already given. Uh, the people of Puerto Rico are incredibly grateful to everyone in the United States who right. help them voluntarily. The voluntary part to them is very important. Uh, we want to continue with our support for hospitals, our support right. for schools, so uh, cash support uh, for us. Gotcha. Well, we've put up uh, an information screen there so people will know how to be in touch with you guys. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing. I wish we had more time to talk about this. I just think it's a tragedy what's going on in it. And I'll say it even if you guys have to be careful. I think the federal government in the United States has to do a whole lot more for this very important uh, territory of the United States. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Thank I you. appreciate it's it. It's our pleasure. Much. Thank you. When the Sunday Business Page continues, the good neighbor, the life and work of Fred Rogers. Stick with us.